everyone, it's Emma, and today I'm using this curtain as a backdrop. <laughs> a couple of you have asked, so I thought I would clear this up real quick. I don't live in New York City permanently, I've just been here for almost a month because I'm considering moving here permanently. I will keep you guys posted on that. As of right now, that is the plan to move to New York City. I've been here like testing it out. So that's why I've gotten to do all these fun vlogs with friends and meeting people and going to book events and all of that stuff because I've been in New York for almost a month now. But I am going back home like next week, yeah. So that's just a little update for that. As for today, I'm going to another new bookstore. I'm going to a bookstore in Brooklyn called Books Are Magic. I'm gonna get out of the window real quick. I'm cooking food and I have to check on it. Oh, yep, I can hear it cooking. This bookstore was actually started by an author. It was started by Emma Straub, who I think one of her books is Modern Lovers. You can hear cars honking outside. She has a couple pretty popular books that sold really quickly in the bookstore that I worked in. Her and her husband opened up this bookstore and it is so, so pretty. From the pictures that I've seen, it's just very aesthetic. There's like a mural on the wall outside and I've never been, so I'm gonna go check that out today. I'm also going to a book event tonight and I'm gonna meet up with Monica from She Might Be Monica and Elena. I know we're gonna take pictures and we are, we are probably going to go to the release for Emergency Contact by Mary H. K. Choi because that's at Rand McNally. That's what my day looks like so far. Look how orange I am. I'm making turkey bacon. <laughs> Very exciting. Another important thing about today is that I ran out of coffee here. So I haven't had coffee today. So I'm gonna go get some coffee before I go to the bookstore because that is necessary. I'm also gonna try and finish Obsidio because I'm like within 100 pages of the end. So we'll see on that one. Oh look, I painted my nails last night. Aren't they pretty? I really like my outfit today, by the way. We'll be putting a coat over top so you won't even really see it, but you know, it doesn't really matter if someone sees it. I still really like it.
Oh, my nose is so red. <laughs> Hi guys. So, oh, there's a person. Went to the bookstore, I will tell you about it later. It was absolutely wonderful. Definitely a new favorite. I can't wait to go back this weekend. <laughs> And I got some books, which I will also haul later. And then I made my way over to where Monica works. And I found Monica. And Hi. here she is filming. <laughs> and now we're gonna go into another bookstore called Housing Works, which I've never been in. We're standing out front right now. We're waiting to meet up with Elena. And then we're gonna take pictures. I'm very tired so I'm gonna end the vlog in the morning but I had a wonderful day now I'm just gonna read some of this before I go to sleep I just got back from dinner and so it's like 10 40 so I don't know if I'll finish up studio tonight but I definitely will in the morning so for now good night and I will see you in a bit Hi everyone, it's Emma. Why did I just do that like I was starting a video? What the heck, this is the middle of a vlog. What are you doing, Emma? <laughs> hey guys, it's the morning time. I thought I would do a little book haul for you all. Book haul for you all. I should stop snapping now. So first of all, of course, I got Emergency Contact, which I was kind of on the fence as to whether I was going to actually buy this or not because I do have the ARC and I will probably read it in the ARC form because it's paperback so it's easier to travel with. Then I noticed that the finished copy is more pink than the ARC copy, which is all I needed to know, and then it was totally worth the investment. Also, the letters on the front are metallic on the new one. Plus, I got it signed at the event last night. I'm thinking I might actually start this today. I finished Obsidio this morning, which I'm not really gonna talk about because I'm still processing. It is the end of one of my favorite trilogies, so it's gonna take me a little while to know what I thought of it, <laughs> but yes. I think I might start this today. The event last night was very interesting. Every time I go to a New York City book release event, it's different, which is interesting. I wonder if it's the authors or the bookstore that draws a different crowd. So for this event, there were a decent amount of readers, but then there were a lot of just like artsy people, lots of people with like cool tattoos, interesting piercings, funky hairstyles, and there were way more guys than are usually present at book events, or at least YA book events. I was actually shocked by the amount of guys. I think it was equal girls and guys. And it was very, very busy. I didn't take a lot of footage because it was hard to move anywhere, let alone get footage. And most of the event was spent standing with a bunch of people crowded in all around me. <laughs> I liked hearing the author talk about the representation in the book and what it meant to her. The main character is Korean, but also there is a trigger warning for sexual assault. So she just talked about what it would have meant to her as a teenager to have seen that in a YA book. So that's always nice to hear what the writing means personally to the author. So yes, it was a good time. I'm glad that I happened to be standing near the signing table when she started signing books because otherwise I would have probably given up getting signed because there were just so many people and nobody was moving. So then for the books that I got at Books Are Magic, first of all, I loved Books Are Magic. It is definitely a new favorite bookstore. I'm not gonna say it's one that I'll go to every time I come into the city because it is in Brooklyn, but it's definitely worth it for photo shoots and vlog footage because it is so 
so pretty. Even the bags that they give out are pink. Their receipts are pink. They have the mural on the wall outside and the entire inside of the bookstore is just so beautiful as you saw from the vlog footage that I took. But not only that, it's just a really nice independently owned bookstore. There's this feeling that comes with good independent bookstores that I love. It's what book culture has and Books Are Magic had that as well. I got four books. I will start with the two children's books that I got. I got The Tale of Peter the Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. I used to have an edition like this and I don't have it anymore. It so much reminds me of my childhood but it also is just really pretty and I love the illustrations. It just is one of those like lovely beautiful things that I love to have. I also got Flower Fairies of the Spring by Cicely Mary Barker. I don't know if any of you guys grew up with these books but I grew up with these Flower Fairies books. This is the exact thing that I had when I was a kid and I think the ones that I had was when I was a kid were the ones that my mom had when she was a kid so they've actually been out of print for a pretty long time and I haven't seen them and I don't have the ones that I had when I was a kid. So I haven't seen this book since I was a little girl and I loved these books like when I saw this in the store I immediately got teared up I had such an emotional moment I wish someone had been there to witness it it's literally just full of the different flowers of the springtime and little poems to go along with these flower fairies as if each flower has a fairy that kind of matches its personality there is one for spring summer autumn and winter But then there's also trees, gardens, wayside, and a flower fairy alphabet. I used to have all of them when I was a kid. I feel like finding this really secured it as a new favorite bookstore because this kind of stuff that you don't see in every bookstore is what makes a specific bookstore my favorite when it has like a specialty or they carry a unique selection of something. Then I got this poetry book kind of on a whim. It's called Yesterday I Was the Moon. And I flipped through it and it had some interesting illustrations, kind of like graphic stuff. Honestly, I didn't even read a lot of the poems. I haven't really heard of this book before. It was just an impulse buy, but I don't regret it at all because I have started reading it and although it's not the most deep thinking kind of poetry, I am really enjoying it so far. So, And the last book that I got is The Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. A couple weeks ago, I was talking with Elena about Haruki Murakami. I guess that he is her favorite author and he's an author that I've been wanting to get into for so long. <laughs> the only writing of his that I've read is Men Without Women, which is a collection of short stories. It's actually the newest one, but it's not one of his novels and I kind of feel like what he's known for is his novels, but they're so intimidating. This one's pretty thick and the words are real small and I know that it is not the most straightforward, easy to read writing. However, I also know that once I read it, I'm going to love it. I just have one of those feelings that Haruki Murakami is going to be a favorite author. Elena said that the Wind Up Bird Chronicle was the first one of his that she ever read. I don't know if I'm going to start with this one or Kafka on the Shore, but I had to pick this one up because of the cover. So colorful and wonderful and beautiful. I'm just obsessed with it and that sold me on it 100%. The last little thing that I got is a pin. It says books are magic and it's pink with little sparkly things on it. I guess they had them made for the store there. I'm guessing that this is not a coincidence that they just happened to carry books are magic pins. But it's so cute and so pretty. So that is it for this vlog. This will probably be the last of my New York City vlogs because I am going home in a couple days. But I've had such a lovely time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these vlogs with the friends that I've made and the books events that I went to. I will definitely be back soon so it's not like this is the last New York City vlog that you'll see. I hope that you have a lovely day or night or afternoon wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and I will see you in my next video. Oh also, if you want to see all the pictures that we took yesterday, I'll leave Monica's channel, Monica's Instagram, Elena's Instagram, all my friends info in the description box. Bye!